Okay, we got another venison video. I'm excited. This is one of my favorites. It is dry rub venison backstrap on the grill. Every time I'm able to harvest a deer, this is, I have to make a backstrap this way. It's absolutely incredible. Um, it involves salt, pepper, six different spices, and a little bit of olive oil. So um, if you guys don't have one of the spices that I have in this recipe, I encourage you to buy it and try it this way first. And then if you want to make adjustments to your preference after you try it the first time, by all means do that. But please try it this way first. I guarantee you, you will love it. It's amazing. So follow along. Let's get to it. Okay, so the ingredients for the dry rub are going to be ground cumin, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, onion powder, sweet paprika, black pepper, kosher salt, thyme, and some uh, olive oil. So we can, what we'll do is we'll put some olive oil on the back strap first so the uh, spices stick to it a little better. Okay, so first we're putting one teaspoon of cayenne pepper in, followed by two tablespoons of kosher salt one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, one tablespoon of thyme, and one tablespoon of paprika. Now, if you don't like too much spice in there, I, I would tone it down just a little bit on the black pepper. Maybe put two teaspoons of black pepper instead of one tablespoon, and maybe tone it down on the cayenne pepper a little bit. Um, also, while we're at this point in the video, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Also in the comment section below, I would like to hear if you guys have any suggestions to the recipe or I would like to hear what your guys' dry rub recipes are as well. Um, I'm always interested in trying new things, so I would appreciate that as well. Okay, so I have an eight ounce piece of backstrap here. I'm only cooking enough for myself. However, this recipe, the uh, mixture, yields about a half a cup of this uh, dry rub. So it, there's plenty left over if you want to do a bigger serving. So I just take some olive oil, rub it on there, just a light little layer. And then you're going to take your dry rub and be very generous with this. Try and get it on there nice and even. And I'll let this sit on, I'll cover this up and put it in the refrigerator for at least 12 hours, but I'm going to cook this tomorrow afternoon, so it'll probably be a little more than 12 hours, but definitely at least a few hours if you can, let it sit there covered up in the refrigerator. Okay, so the backstrap has been sitting in the refrigerator overnight, and it's ready for the grill. An important step is to let the backstrap actually come up to room temperature before you actually put it on the grill. Okay, we're getting the charcoal loaded up in the grill. You wanna concentrate the charcoals to one side so we can have both a direct heat source and an indirect heat source, because we're gonna use both. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sear this backstrap. Um, I like to put it, uh, the backstrap directly over the charcoals for two minutes on each side. And you want the temperature to be about 450 to 500 degrees while you're doing this. Um, you know, anywhere in that general temperature will be fine. Um, the cooking times I'm talking about in this video are gonna be variable uh, based on, you know, your exact situation and what temperature you have. But 130 degrees internal temperature is about a rare and 140 degrees is a medium rare. Now, we do not wanna cook uh, venison backstrap over a medium rare cook. Um, anything over that and it just doesn't come out as good so try not to cook it over a medium rare again that's 130 degrees for rare 140 degrees for medium rare so definitely check that so two minutes on each side sear it directly over the heat source then we're gonna remove it from directly over the heat source and put it off to the side 
And what I do is I cook an additional three minutes on each side once you remove it from the direct heat source. And that seems to be perfect for me. Again, please do not overcook this. This dry rub comes out amazing. Definitely give it a shot. Please do not forget to subscribe. And I appreciate you watching the video. If you have any questions, please comment below um, and enjoy it. Thank you.